can the VA take away or reduce my VA disability? And if so, how or why? When you get a decision, which is what I will stress this as much as I can, you have to read your paperwork. You have to look through everything that you sent because in your paperwork, there's a decision and then there's a rating narrative. It talks to you about why they came to that conclusion. It tells you if it's permanent, it tells you if it's temporary, and it tells you if it's gonna be a future examination. You need to look at your cold sheet because it'll tell you if they're planning on looking at something that they don't feel is permanent in nature. If you look at that block, it'll say future exam, and then if it has a date, that's something you know they're gonna look at again. So then that way you're not going in unknowingly and then all of a sudden you get a letter saying they're going to reduce that. You have to understand that when you get your service connection, reading the narrative and then looking at the blocks to determine if they're going to look at something again tells you if it's a potential for that being reduced. So again, make sure you read your paperwork, look to see if something that you're service connected for has an exam because they're going to reevaluate that. And if they determine that it's better or it's improved, then the VA benefits side are going to look at that to determine if it still needs to stay at that percentage. It's really just that simple. The other thing is if it gets worse before you get to the future exam, or you do have to continue to go in for it because it's degeneratively, you know, giving you trouble, you need to go get that documented because now the decision makers, when the future exam comes around, they're gonna look at that and go, well, this person's been having problems with this condition even after the initial service connection. So we wanna make sure that we don't penalize them for that. We wanna make sure that we give them either more or we just continue what they currently have and we don't reduce it. So the reduction is usually based on future exams that's already of record or the fact that they put in for you to show up for an exam and you didn't go. And that's the biggest one for the reduction that you're not getting back to us or you're not showing up for exams. Everyone needs to go to their exams. And if you can't go, make arrangements to reschedule because if you don't, it's going to probably put you on the side of something being denied or reduced and it's usually now is when the veterans want to come back and start having these discussions. Take the time when you get a letter, take the time when you get a call. If you can't do it, life is happening, your schedule is tough, you're traveling, something's going on with your family, or maybe something's going on with you. Get back to us, we will work with you. But when you don't get back to us, we're not really left with a lot of choices because we still have to do our jobs as well. You have questions about your VA benefits, and the SITREP has the answers. Visit any of our four YouTube playlists that specifically cover VA healthcare, VA disability, VA home loans, and specialty topics. Choose from any of our playlists and connect with the benefits you earned and deserve.